Can you okay. confirm we're recording now? Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Great. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to say everything again. So it's part of the recording. My name is Wilson, and uh, I am Wiki Loves Africa facilitator. Some of you know me. Uh, I'm very excited to have every one of you joining us for this session. Uh, this is Wiki Loves Africa training and workshop session for photograph post-processing as part of our commitment to ensuring that we have quality contributions. Forgive me, my background is very noisy. I have had to do some improvisations so that I can have less technical issues. Unfortunately, this place is quite noisy, but I hope you can hear me. Uh, today's meeting is photograph post-processing. In essence, or in simpler terms, how to edit photographs that you wish to upload for Wiki Loves Africa contest or for any other contest in the future. We have today, as part of the organizing team, a strong the product of a strong collaboration with the Commons Photographers is a group which is led by my good friend and brother, uh, Suyash Vivedi. Suyash Vivedi is also assisted by Shreya Vivedi, both from the Commons Photographers is a group. It's a new collaboration, and we're excited that we have this as one of the products of that collaboration. So thank you very much, Commons Photographers is a group. I also have here members of the Wiki in Africa team. Uh, I have Noni and Florence, who are also part of uh, the Wiki in Africa team. I also have Hillary and uh, a couple other ambassadors in the chat that I cannot see clearly right now. But I see you all. I want to say thank you for all of the support we've experienced. I also want to recognize a lot of the organizers, Wiki of the Africa organizers from across the continent. I see you, Powers. I see you, Minets, right? I see Minets. I see you, Oteng from Botswana. I see you, Martin from Namibia. I see you, a couple of our uh, other friends from various locations. I see you, Dr. Che Meze from Senior Citizens. Well done. Thank you for joining us. Kindly put a reminder in your local community groups about this training so that those who are about who are not aware or who have forgotten can remember and try to join us before we we, we go too far. Uh, uh, I would like to now hand over to the trainer. Uh, I think the correct thing to do would be to hand over, first of all, to common photographers, in case there's something they would like to say as an introduction, Shreya. And then Shreya can introduce the trainer, and then we can kick off from there. How about that, Shreya? Um, yeah. Um, okay. So, hello, welcome, everyone. Um, we, uh, as uh, Wilson mentioned, that uh, this is a new collaboration with Wiki Loves Africa, and we are from the Commons Photographers User Group. Me and Soyashi. Um, so, uh, this workshop uh, is basically for Lightroom. You might have heard about it. It's a software for photo editing. So we all click pictures and uh, most of the times we upload it in a raw format. But uh, now in this workshop, you all will get to learn about how to do post-processing, how to improve the brightness, contrast and various other uh, uh, things in an image so that we can improve the quality uh, in the campaign. So... Today we have Pankaj Yadav with us. He is the part of Wiki Club, SATI. Actually, uh, I run a club in my college and it's called Wiki Club. Uh, he's the member of it. And uh, he has three years of experience mm -hmm. in post-production and image processing. And um, he has uh, held a workshop for post-processing uh, before also for Wiki Love's folklore. He was the trainer. And he have a great experience, and I'm sure you will get to learn a lot uh, with this workshop. So yes, I hand it over to Soyashji if you want to say something, and then we'll hand it over to Pankaj. Thank you, Shreya, and thank you, Wilson, and uh, everyone over here. So we are super excited. Uh, like Shreya also mentioned, this uh, workshop is focused on uh, uploading the photographs you know, correcting the photograph before it uploading so that the prizes or the the chances to get your 
to when the prices will be little higher. And not only that, but uh, even the quality uh, you upload on the commons, uh, it will be much more good. So Pankaj will uh, train us about uh, how to do this post-processing with the use of uh, this uh, software that is Lightroom. So I'll not take uh, much time and I'll, uh, uh, I'll invite Pankaj to go ahead and take the chair. Thank you. Pankaj, please. Hello, everyone. Hello, Wilson. Am I audible? Yes, loud and clear. Yes. Okay, uh, so I am Pankaj, Pankaj from India. I work as a photograph and photographer and documentary making, uh, documentary making from past uh, three years. I use Premiere Pro and Lightroom to edit my photos and uh, videos. These are just the tools uh, like uh, to enhance your work, enhance your uh, like as a result in your photos and videos. I belong to a technical background and came across uh, Wikipedia SETI club. Like I am a, a member of Wiki club SETI. So uh, today we are gathered here to uh, know about uh, Lightroom mobile ad, like how to uh, edit picture, how to color grade in it, uh, like the most important, uh, the color correction image, like uh, in certain times uh, we seen uh, our photos get overexposed and uh, get uh, uh, like uh, no alignment in it. Uh, some get uh, rotated and uh, some get overexposed. So we uh, get to know today about uh, like how to adjust these all of settings and uh, uh, how to solve these problems in our in post production and post processing of our images so i want to show my screen for to present the ppt uh, okay uh, so just give me a two minute Uh, so here uh, we are going uh, today to uh, image post production. Uh, Pankaj, we cannot see the full screen. Can you, like half of the screens I can see? Uh, this, uh, okay. We you need to click on the preview or the present or slideshow, one of them. Slideshow. Slideshow, okay. Now it is okay? Okay, I think it will be fine. No, now it's better. Now you can click on the slideshow so that you can see the full experience. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes. So uh, before jumping on uh, like how to edit photos and how to color grade, uh, I want to introduce uh, myself. Uh, I'm Pankaj Yadav. Uh, from India, like today we are using uh, Adobe Lightroom and uh, uh, today we are going to cover uh, Adobe, uh, how to edit pictures and uh, all these things. And uh, uh, now let me first introduce uh, about Adobe Lightroom, like why we are today, why we considered Adobe Lightroom as a color grading or color, color correction platform. There is a uh, too much uh, uh, there is a more platform or more tools available in online to edit your photos. But uh, why Adobe Lightroom? There is uh, because it gives uh, more uh, access to uh, change to make changes in your photos to uh, like HSL tool, like cover, uh, like curve, curves tool. Uh, okay, so uh, you can download Adobe Lightroom from uh, Google Play Store and also as well as 
फ्रॉम योर फॉर योर विंडोज यू कैन डाउनलोड इट फ्रॉम गूगल ओके सो आई वॉन्ट टू लेट यू ऑल नो देर इज अ ओपन फ्री प्लेटफॉर्म ऑल्सो ओपन सोर्स विच इज नेम एज गिम्स जी आई एम पी एस सो यू कैन यूज एज वेल ऑल्सो सो ओके we uh, there is a we have some example photos so uh, we are going to fix uh, these photos today i consider it as a example photos so there is you can see uh, there is some uh, four photos which are some over exposed and uh, not a good alignment some are under exposed saturation is down so how can we fix these photos so uh, today we are using adobe uh, lightroom mobile app so uh, i'm directly jumping on it uh, i'm sharing my screen uh, from my mobile okay so uh, you can share my mo uh, you can see my mobile screen there uh, so uh, like uh, i want to let you know like how to download adobe lightroom from google play store so this is why i have okay so uh, there is a ado uh, on google play store uh, can you enter google enter on it so uh, you can see there is a uh, a search bar on top of this so when you click on it you have uh, you can search about adobe lightroom so when you are searching for adobe lightroom lightroom so on uh, clicking you can see uh, there is a uh, lightroom photo and video editing app it is a uh, 105 mb of so and Download in your phone, uh, in your Android phone, and as well as in your iOS device, in Apple device also. So there, it is available in uh, all devices. So you can install from there. I've already installed it. So I'm directly uh, opening this application. Okay. So there is a. Uh, folder name as i created a folder name as adobe lightroom you can also create the this folder uh, so where you can uh, collect your all of your photos and uh, some uh, pictures which uh, you are captured from npo as okay so uh, we are selecting a picture uh, from, from this folder uh, which we are going as a we are taking it as a example photo so uh, there is a photo which is over exposed so there this photo this four photos are under exposed and this there is photo are over exposed some has no alignment so firstly we are choosing uh, this photo uh, as a uh, example photo uh, on clicking it so we can uh, see the all interface on our mobile okay so there is a uh, header uh, on top of the screen you can see there is a uh, undo and previous version you can uh, on clicking on it you can see there you can see the previous version or uh, which you make changes in it so you can undo and redo also so if you make some uh, uh, like uh, edit which are which you don't want in your photo so you can just click on undo and it will uh, remove automatically Uh, so there is a question uh, mark. You can find the uh, help, and uh, there is a share option and the three dot. We uh, will come uh, on it later. But firstly, uh, we are uh, family. We are going to familiar with these. These these are the some important uh, uh, ba options in the footer. You can see there is a preset option, crop, edit, masking, and healing. Okay, so. Uh, all of you are seeing this a uh, star blue star icon so what it is they are showing the premium option or a premium version so adobe lightroom uh, uh, offer some free version and a paid uh, features also so in 
paid features there is a masking healing and uh, blur tool so as of now uh, we want to upload our uh, original image or original work on wikipedia on wiki commons so uh, we don't want to make some masking or healing because uh, we want the work goes on wikipedia or uh, wiki commons it should be some original work okay so it will refer but uh, all of you uh, can also access the free features also so there is a preset option crop option and add option there is a preset which is uh, such like uh, you can say uh, this is a star matlab like plus point of the light room so we will come it on later so firstly we are going uh, to uh, explore about crop tool so on clicking on the crop tool you can see there is a uh, more option pop up uh, which is a five options expect expect uh, straighten rotate flip flip uh, flip contains a two option horizontal and vertical so on clicking uh, horizontal you can see there is a uh, total uh, image has flipped horizontally and on clicking on vertical the image will be flipped vertically so there is we want the original image so here we go okay so we are here to crop our image why do you want to crop the image like okay so the, we want to crop the image because we don't want some unwanted element in our image like uh, you can you heard about the composition of the image while clicking the photo there is a such more composition and uh, like uh, 180 degree look like uh, 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 grid lines and all so while clicking or uh, while clicking the images we sometimes the image got to, uh, involve some unwanted elements and uh, some those we don't want so i want to remove this part this part in the whole up uh, this part of the image so how we can do this so on clicking the x uh, aspect uh, there is a we can see there is a such uh, more options more uh, ratio 1 by 1 1 by 2 so we on clicking the original so the original uh, ratio will be maintained so by adjusting uh, this uh, on clicking on this you can uh, crop this photo okay so so you can see there is a photo which is cropped but we want photo as uh, like our main subject uh, should be in center like this is our main subject so it could be in center okay so here is what we want so i want to uh, uh, before let you know like uh, how i click this image i was going uh, to a morning uh, walk so there is a uh, some a uh, road side uh, vegetable seller in india so uh, they are selling the vegetable and uh, one of them are greeting uh, with namaste uh, like uh, uh, to their to uh, his uh, friend or uh, known person so i click this image okay so but uh, uh, some of la lacking of some fast settings uh, i over export this image so what should i do i have i am going to fix this uh, in adobe lightroom so okay so after cropping this image we clicking on done option okay so here we our subject which is uh, cropped now and uh, i think uh, we uh, want to fix this rotation also because the alignment is also disturbed so uh, like is rotated on clockwise and anti clockwise we can fix this rotation also you can see the some grid line on uh, on the mm -hmm. image so taking a reference taking the reference from this these lines uh, in the images we are going to alignment as it or uh, as it look uh, natural okay so here we go uh, this look uh, like better this is looking better yes so i am doing something like 8.26 or okay so uh, i think uh, it crop and rotate the rotation all fix uh, i want to introduce uh, with rotation tool also on clicking on the rotation tool you can rotate the picture by total 90 degree okay so like here is a demo and click the picture by 90 degree 90 degree plus 90 degree and 
uh, plus total three fifty degree rotation. Uh, what we got. Okay, so after this, we have completed the crop and rotation tool on clicking on uh, right button, click button. So here is the final one. Okay, so we have explored the crop tool. Now we are coming on edit tool. So on clicking the edit tool, we can see there is a lot more options which are light, color, blur, effect effect and details and optics. So as I previously told you, there is a premium option named as blur. So we uh, we are not going to uh, take it. Okay. Consider it. We are firstly exploring the light tool. Okay. So what uh, these types of slider do uh, in our picture? So these type of slider actually uh, fit the uh, exposure contrast and uh, the detailing in your uh, the detailing of light in your photos like how much photos uh, exposed like how you can control the shadows and black part of your images so there is a two segment uh, the one is curve tool and the second one is slider tool so a uh, slider tool gives a uh, uh, different uh, options uh, named as expose exposure contrast and highlights and uh, others. Okay, so we are going to do it one by one. So firstly, we are uh, handling with uh, exposure, exposure slider. So uh, by sliding uh, to the left, you can see the overall brightness of the images is decreasing. Yeah. So uh, on increasing it, the overall brightness, it increasing which we don't want. Like we, our picture is already overexposed, so we are going to uh, reduce in minus minus numbers like minus uh, one point or minus uh, one point zero six something. Okay, so uh, we can see the light brightness is now uh, much better in photos. Not uh, as we want, but uh, we can control it uh, from other tool also. Okay, so there is a contrast option. So you by sliding uh, it in light, right or left, you can see the difference between highlight and shadow. Okay, I'm repeating. The difference between highlight and shadow will increase while you increase or decrease the contrast. By increasing the contrast, the difference between highlight increase means what, what I mean, uh, the, the value of highlight mm -hmm. will increase as it is okay by decreasing it the highlight will uh, will be more uh, brighter but and the as well as the shadow shadow area will be uh, will got more uh, darker on increasing the contrast okay so what uh, we want we want uh, to the balance image like uh, there is a uh, no the highlights or up or like there is a no disturbance between highlights and shadow. So there, uh, this actually the contrast is a experimental uh, tool. So you can experiment by yourself how much you want it. Uh, okay, I I prefer to down it because I will tell you later why why I am going uh, why I am decreasing the contrast in the image. Okay, so the third one is a uh, highlight tool. Uh, I I was told you the brighten part of the area is known as highlight so on increasing you can change in highlight also so i want to decrease to increase to uh, more details in highlight part of the area which are overexposed so i am uh, decreasing the highlight and uh, the fourth one is shadow area so you can see the changes in only in the shadow area of the image so on increasing the shadow area of uh, darker part uh, getting uh, more brighter in the image. On decreasing it, it uh, is going to more darken. Okay. Uh, so I'm putting uh, something like uh, minus eight, uh, minus eighteen to twenty five something. Okay. So yeah, uh, it is looking some balance. Okay. So uh, there is a last two option also white and black. Mm -hmm. White uh, between the highlights and shared between the high near the highlight area or black it uh, it uh, comes near the shadow so black part of the images it, has, it do both are similar to highlight and shadow but a uh, little oh. bit uh, between the yeah. area of graph no, 
so by adjusting the white and black we can control the uh, light in our photo okay so you can see there is a much more detail in the photo and uh, if you want to the before and after you can just uh, uh, hold uh, on the photo uh, click and hold on the photo you can see how much the light goes down like there is a so much light there is what there was so much light in the photo and now we have uh, control on exposure okay so uh, okay on clicking the curve button you can see uh, there is a, a curve is appearing on the photo there is a, a some grid line uh, like horizontally and vertical horizontal vertical grid line so there is a three word three grid lines in the uh, in the graph there is a there is first one is shadow second one is called uh, mid tone and the third third line is known as is represent the highlight area of the images okay so on putting the click button on curve tool like you can see there is a dot appearing on the on the this line of the curve okay so there is a shadow mid tone and curve so by adjusting in the down the shadow you can see the black the shadow goes uh, getting more darker okay on increasing it you can see the difference in it okay so the curve tool is dedicated to the specific part of the images so we can change this on a particular particular area of the image like there is a highlight there is a highlight so on changing it in the highlight we can see there is a changes in highlight also so on downing it uh, i am uh, decreasing the highlight okay so uh, the you can see uh, you can uh, see there is a two more dots like first and this is the last one and this is the first dot like on the top so it represents the very bright or very uh, light uh, whitish area of the images and uh, the last one is the black black area like too much darker area of the images so you can see uh, there is a change in this is a, a black part of our image the darkest part so on uh, changing it you can see there is a more changes in this part so we are uh, going to some decrease or we can you can uh, less as in, uh, at is, it is okay so we have explored the curve tool as uh, this curve tool is uh, more vast and uh, like uh, it is more the feature you can make uh, drastic changes in your picture by using this curve tool there is a uh, three more options uh rgb rgb curve this is a red green and blue also so you can make changes in overall picture uh in your color tone like you if you can shift the curve red curve on the upper so the overall picture uh change into reddish part okay so i am double clicking on it you can on clicking the double click you can uh, redo the your changes okay so there is a green and there is a a uh, blue part so as of now we don't want so it is not required to make changes so you can explore uh, as much as you can uh, uh, just uh, play just can make changes and uh, uh, play with your photos make uh, these uh, with a curve tool okay so uh, we explored the light how we can how we can control the light in our photos now we are jumping in color okay so this is the uh, you can see the uh, second most important uh, step of our photo uh, we see a uh, type of photos which are uh, unsaturated or raw photo like while taking uh, we are we uh, maximum click the photo with our phone but uh, the camera provide uh, more uh, extra option which is known as raw photos log photos so the log photos has no contrast or saturation so there is a option to add saturation in your photos the last saturation option and uh, vibrance is also the similar but uh, you will find a uh, difference between vibrance and or uh, vibrance and saturation this that uh, saturation increase the overall colors of the images like there is a yellow and red you can see the some yellow color and red color so on increasing this 
you can see the changes in your photo the red getting more reddish and the yellow getting more uh yeah more yellowish okay so we don't uh, want uh, this like looking uh too bad too much bad so we just increase some part of uh images uh like and the second one is vibrance vibrance is uh particularly uh make changes in those parts which are unsaturated color it okay i'm repeating it it is it didn't uh, make it do not make changes uh in the already which are already saturated it makes changes which are which colors are not saturated okay so while making the changes so you can see there is a not much changes in saturation this is some small changes in which part are are unsaturated okay so there is a two more options like temperature and tint tint are shift the overall the mood of the photo like uh, which side you want to be if you are uh, uh, shift to the right side it get more reddish and it get more uh, greenish photo when you are uh, make changes in tint on decreasing or increasing the temperature value you can uh, see the result there is a adding more cool and more warm warm color in your photos so like uh, if you want uh, some day daylight photos so you can increase the temperature so it look happier like this is clicking in uh, too much uh, uh, sun uh, too much in sunlight or like in evening photos so if you want some uh, mood of cool photos if you want to add uh, some uh, cool part in, like it uh, you can shift in the minus area of the temperature so it will be add some blue blue tone in your photos okay so what do you want we think uh, uh, plus 2 will be a good setting for this photo because it is a daytime photo okay so as we explore the white balance option like it by making changes in saturation temperature you can fix the overall white balance of your photo so there is a two more option black and white color grading and color mix so this is a too much vast uh, tools to be explored so color grading uh, like on there is a more option in a color grading option uh, like shadow uh, highlight mid tone shadow mid tone and the third one is highlight of your images and global like as similar as the curve tool you can make these particular changes in a specific part of your photo okay on clicking on the done option we don't uh, we uh, don't record this uh, color grading option okay so there is a third option a fourth option actually also a color mix which also known as hsl tool so you can fix the overall tone and the some you if you want to add uh, some uh, intentionally color in your photos like hsl why why i'm uh, calling it hsl tool because it gives a three uh, particular options which uh, named as u saturation and luminance so uh, there is a uh, some uh, uh, information about u saturation and luminance because the first one is u which uh, like if you shift the u to the uh, left side the red color uh, will get more uh, violet and uh, the uh, uh, if you slide this u to the uh, right side of your photo so uh, you are seeing the red color getting more orange orange okay so so uh, it be uh, we can use it if required in your photos like there is a uh, too much uh, if it can get too much uh, reddish in your photo so you can adjust uh, by sliding it uh, skin tone on your photo okay it's like you can play with other color also so uh in this photo i want uh, to introduce just uh, uh like basic color correction so we don't require to adjust hue okay the saturation saturation as i previously told the saturation adjusts the intensity of the color like red Good. Uh, will get more reddish and it uh, will uh, like 
desaturated the color and increase the saturation of the color or a particular color of the image of the image okay luminance luminance is a particular de dedicated uh, to the bright and the dark shade of the color okay if you increase it the red gold red will get more brighter so there is a such more option more option to make changes in your color with hue saturation and luminance okay so on clicking on done button uh, if required we will make change but uh, okay so there is a we have covered the color tool option so the next is blur tool so this is a premium tool you can uh, like i want to introduce this tool also but uh, this is a premium so uh, like you can understand the blur tool as if you want the background in uh, as a blur if you click portrait photos so there is a need of background blur in your photo so you can uh, get this effect uh, by using the blur tool okay so there is a uh, uh, one more tool which known as effect effect provide us the uh, some vintage green sand texture uh, texture options to make changes in it like there is a effect text to effect of texture clarity and dazzle texture is a uh, well uh, dedicated to increase the details in our photos as well as the clarity increase the detail in our photo like let's see how much clarity in our photo like there is we can see there is a too much sharpen in our photo but let's see what will happen to when we increase the texture of our photos so you can see i am putting it like uh, let's put on 100 so let's see what will be the changes so you can see there is a much too much part which got sharpen in your photos so i don't think it is required okay so like uh, you can ask when we use a texture and clarity tool okay so i'm gonna tell about it. like if we see there is a there is a part which we want to in the focus of our photo like it is, should be not focused, but sometimes the focus, uh, sometimes the camera didn't focus the correctly. So we increase the clarity and texture of our photos to uh, to see the sharpness in, a, in photo, in overall the image. Okay, so in increasing it, so there is increased uh, clarity and texture for, of our photo. So the uh, diesel, diesel is uh, also uh, similar to it. Okay, so we uh, jump. We are jumping on vintage vignette. Okay, vignette option. So uh, there is a slider amount of zero, which getting minus. So you can see there is a. Uh, in, you can see the cost changes in corner when I make changes in vignette. Okay. So on decreasing, you can see there is a uh, black uh, black part is increasing in black corner is increasing in our photo on increasing this vignette tool you can see the in our photos but uh, uh when it record it record when we want to make a uh, focus on a uh, center of the image like uh, if uh, the uh, man subject is in the center we decrease uh, the vignette effect to uh, to putting the focus on the center of a subject okay uh, so like uh, when it comes like uh, uh, it is, comes also naturally also when you will use the wide angle uh, or uh, wide angle lens in your camera so there is uh, when uh, in the wide angle there is a such uh, black uh, shade in your photos uh, like as uh, a shadow or something so we will we are don't gonna use it because we want as much as natural it is click with a phone not uh, with camera so green is uh, something like uh, to add the noise or grains in your photos uh, this is also <laughs> which is also an additional feature of adobe lightroom okay so i think i have uh, added some texture and clarity in our photo so on jumping on the uh, option of detail so you can see there is a sharpness noise and color noise so on uh, uh, introducing uh, about the sharpness i i want to let you know about the noise 
what is noise in photo there is a you can see on clicking the night photos or black part of the photo some create a, a grains and some uh, like a noise or uh, in our photos uh, in the black part of the area so lightroom provide a noise reduction tool so by increasing it you can fix the noise in your black part of your photo so uh, okay so there is a no noise i think so we don't uh, gonna use it as similar as the color noise also there is a fix the noise in color area like in your photos so there is a option of sharpness in your photos it is uh, increase the sharpness of your photos like if uploading uh, we want to the sharpness or detailing in our photos so if we increase it you can see there is a too much detailing is increasing in your photos like you can see the result on uh, like if we undo this option so you can see there is a something not uh, too much detail on increasing it you can see there is a too much uh, sharp hair in uh, our photo okay so when uh, we when we should not to use this uh, feature uh, we should not uh, use this feature when our photo is going to print in something like if you are making a poster if our photos are going to use in, uh, on a large scale so the photo makes sharp increase the sharpness but it also affect the pixels of our photo it uh, it make the photo pixelated so when you increase the dimension of your photo the photo will appear uh, 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 pixelated okay so there is a no required i think our images is already sharp if uh, if required you can also use when it uh, when you want it required okay okay so the last option is optical optic so remove uh, chromatic abbreviation enable lens correction these uh, tools are used when uh, the photo clipped uh, by a camera okay so you can also use it it fix the uh, lens uh, disruption or the some uh, which are uh, which don't record while we are clipping the photo so uh, okay so i uh, we have covered the uh, edit option and the crop option so there is a two more option left uh, there is a masking and healing uh, so by using the masking you can adjust or make changes these are uh, what changes this edit changes uh, this uh, these all changes in a specific part of your area like uh, i am clicking on masking or selecting uh, this person only in our photo so we can make a uh, changes in lighting and color or in this a uh, particular selected area the changes will not appear in the background okay so the changes will not appear in the background so there is a pre this is a premium tool and the there is a last one is healing tool healing tool in our photos uh, uh provide the access to uh, uh some uh, erase erase or fix the unwanted part of our photos like if we uh, don't uh, uh, want this vegetable in, in our photo so we can uh, select the healing tool and remove uh, as a uh, remove this vegetable so the adobe lightroom fix uh, it automatically in a smart way okay so uh, i've covered uh, this all this tool so the last one is left with presets option so uh, how you can use this presets option so the lightroom provide such uh, uh, provide already uh, preset which you can use in your photos and uh, uh, which uh, uh, are over exposed or you if you are giving some tone uh, like intentionally tone in your photos so these are some uh, premium features of i would adobe lightroom but 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 you can also create your a uh, uh, user preset like uh, let's see um, we make changes in this photo so how we can create a our preset to save in adobe lightroom okay so uh, i am just uh, telling you so uh, like why we should create preset why we want if there is why there is a need of create some preset so like if you uh, click some uh, similar kind of photo which are which have some uh, this kind of 
mistakes or some which are over exposed so you can create this preset and copy paste directly to uh, those photos also so you, you uh, your time will save to make these uh, changes in edit and crop uh, uh, options okay so how we can create the preset of our images so let's see there is a uh, i've told you about the share and the three dot option so on clicking the three dot option you can see there is a uh, option which is a uh, create preset and copy settings on copy settings you can directly copy uh, the settings of this images but if you want to save the setting, you can choose create preset option. So uh, on clicking the create preset, you can see there is a uh, more option such as uh, preset name and preset group. So uh, let me uh, uh, introduce some a step uh, one by one. So there is a first one option is preset name. So on clicking on preset name, you can give uh, some uh, name of uh, this preset like uh, we make changes in our uh, in overexposed photo so we are uh treating as a overexposed preset so over okay so there is overexposed name preset okay so where you want to save it there is also uh some uh options so if you want to in a default folder user preset it's okay if you want to uh, some create a new preset group, it also okay. Uh, as of now, I'm choosing the default uh, group, user preset. Okay, so there is a uh, some selection also. So you can uh, check or uncheck which part of the photo or changes you want in your preset. If I don't want the color correction of our photos or effect, effect uh, option and effect tool in our photo. So we can uh, easily uncheck it or check it okay so on clicking on the uh, tick button so the preset is created so we can uh, see our preset in the preset option and your preset and there is a user preset so let's see there is a over exposed preset is created so whenever you uh, will open the another photo uh, you can just visit the preset your and user preset and just copy paste or uh, just paste this preset on that image also okay so uh, the uh, how we can export the photo this uh, is the last uh, uh, part like uh, of uh, to make uh, changes in our photo like we have covered the crop and edit tool like uh, you can see there is a share button so you can share uh, images directly uh, on social media also so, but uh, we will select the export as option. Uh, on clicking on export as, we can see there is a uh, uh, lot more options which is named as file type, dimension, quality. Okay. So, on clicking on file type, you can see there is uh, JPEG, uh, JPG, DNG, AVIV, and other options also. So, on clicking on original, you can see you can save uh, your picture as as you as format as you imported but uh, we uh, we are selecting the jpeg because we want to, if you want your photo as a decrease the quality but uh, i think nobody wants to decrease the quality of uh, your photo so we will select the 100 percent quality and the largest dimension available okay so uh, on clicking on more options you can see there is a, a metadata of uh, our photo like uh, location information, camera camera information. So while uploading on uh, Wiki Commons or uh, on uh, on social media, we uh, have we have some uh, details in photo. So we make sure these options are checked. Okay. So uh, there is a, a file name, output shot name. Output shot name. You can select a screen uh, glossy paper. So the as default uh, as none okay okay so there is a uh, some last important option color space color space uh like provide uh, uh, like, uh, like uh there is a format uh, of or you color like adobe rg adobe provide its 
all uh, its color space which is named Adobe RGB. So photo display here, but uh, as default, we are selecting as RGB space, which is a, a global color space which allow all by all the software and uh, you can make changes after or also. Okay, so we are we are left as default. Okay, so uh, there is a tick option on clicking on correct option. Uh, okay, so before clicking on tick option, I want to let you all know. So there is a as option include watermark. Please uncheck this option. Like if you are want to upload your images on social media or wiki comments, so there is a no record of watermark. Or uh, we don't want. Uh, so uh, we we are going to uncheck it and uh, click on the correct option. So our photo is uh, exporting. Okay. Uh, it uh, may take some time to depend on your uh, file size and how much you are make changes in your photo. So let's see how much we are changes on like uh, on clicking and hold option. You can see there is a too much ex over export photo, which. Uh, think, uh, we, we think this is an uh, unwanted exposure in our photo and we fix it uh, like this. Okay, so we have exported our photo in from the Adobe Lightroom. So uh, let's see, uh, we, uh, we have created a preset option. So how this preset will work on other photo, like how we can apply this preset on other overexposed photo. Okay, so let's choose uh, another overexposed photo. So I think uh, uh, this this photo will be uh, okay. So this is the photo uh, where uh, the construction work is going on. So if you want to apply our preset on this photo, which we have uh, created previously, on clicking the pre preset option, use user preset and overexposed. Okay, so before applying it, I want to tell you the if we created a preset, it uh, never uh, provide you the hundred percent changes or what you want. Like uh, you have to make some changes uh, by yourself in your photo. Like it will uh, save your time all time. Okay, so there is a no uh, changes in crop, so you can uh, crop it by yourself on clicking the original picture. So uh, we just want to focus in this photo as uh, like, I think it will be good focus. Okay, so there is a no need of rotation or something. It is already a line photo. And uh, there is a edit option. You can make some changes in your photo. Like there is a area where we, where it got under exposed. So uh, in, uh, uh, in on the place of changing in uh, overexposed area, you can directly make changes in shadow area. Of like on changing it, you can see the changes in shadow area. Okay. So, uh, also if you want to get uh, as a result uh, more underexposed photo or uh, want some decrease some more highlight and you can make changes also. So here, see it. There is a overexposed photo, which is a uh, raw, which we imported, and there is after applying the applying some changes in our photo. Okay. So like how we can export it as we export the previous photo on clicking the export button and uh, export as there is a changes. Let's see there is uh, okay all are set. On clicking the correct button, you can uh, export it also. Okay, so this is already uh, this photo got uh, uh, already exported. So uh, let's see how uh, we uh, let's see if you uh, you want to make a uh, correction in other photos also. So if record, I think that uh, time is. Uh, not uh, I am I I am not taking the overtime. So, uh, uh, hello Wilson. Uh, hello, am I audible? 
Yes, Pankaj. Actually, uh, uh, just yes. time for the meeting is 20 minutes more. So yes. uh, I know that it is, it, it you know, uh, it, practicing needs more time. So we can open the floor for question and answers. If uh, someone or uh, someone uh, can or uh, someone is going to face or uh, like to uh, challenges in your photos, so uh, there is a limit of time. So uh, you can also reach me. Uh, I will share my uh, email, so you can also reach me out there. So uh, uh, I will uh, take your query. Okay. So I think uh, uh, if anywhere there is anyone have a uh, question or query and doubt something, you can ask me uh, there on uh, here also. So uh, yes. Pankaj, uh, as I can see into the message section, uh, Bright is asking, can you improve pre uh, can can you import preset and apply it to your photo with the mobile version of Lightroom? So I'm not clear that uh, whether Bright is asking whether uh, can we import preset from laptop or desktop version to uh, mobile version? Please correct me if I wrong. Yes, uh, uh, there is a uh, option uh, set which are available, which available online on internet. So, uh, uh, there uh, these are in uh, DNG format. So, when uh, you are download the preset and import in your photo, you can directly apply in it. Uh, if uh, like uh, if you want to uh, to download the option preset in your uh, mobile, you can download from Google and uh, just uh, directly uh, import to a uh, that photo uh, that preset photo in your Lightroom and just copy the settings. Let me just uh, like where as we simply download a photo, you can download this preset and uh, it will open in your gallery. So just open uh, in your Lightroom. So as we are opening this photo in Lightroom, so similar as a similar format, uh, this photo will, or uh, that photo, that preset will also be downloaded. Okay. So uh, like uh, consider, let's consider this was a preset. This was the preset photo, which we downloaded from the internet. So how we can apply this uh, preset on our secondary photos. So on clicking uh, the third button, we can see the copy settings option. So on clicking the copy settings, you can see there is uh, options uh, which are already uh, in it. So you can copy it here and on the correct option uh, or on selecting your original photo. Let's see, uh, this is the original photo of yours. Uh, so you want to uh, apply this preset in the, on this photo of yours. So there, on uh, uh, clicking this three dots, you can see there is a copy settings which we have already copied, but, 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 but we don't want to select it. We have to focus on paste setting option. Paste setting means uh, which uh, you previously copied and paste those settings on this image. So on clicking the page setting, you can see there is a all uh, automatically changes in your photo. So like you can see, this was your original photo and after you applying this preset option. Okay. I, I hope uh, you understood. It is okay or something uh, another. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, Bright is saying the download preset uh, from any website. Okay, let's see. Uh, like how you uh, download the preset from a website. Like uh, I uh, am going to try to download it uh, from website. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lightroom preset. Okay. On searching with uh, Lightroom preset. Uh, in the Google. Okay. On clicking on the download button, you can see there is a lot more presets which are premium 
R. But uh, uh, let's see. There are uh, more uh, three presets also. So we have downloaded it. Okay. So uh, let's see. Let's open it. What is the preset? Uh, so there is a image which we have downloaded uh, from the internet. Like as I before told you, uh, before told you, like it is similar which uh, we have copied from uh, copy settings from in Lightroom. Okay. So uh, on clicking on uh, this button, like you can see uh, while opening uh, Lightroom, you can uh, visit to your gallery. On visiting the gallery, you can see there is uh, the uh, download downloaded photo will be appear here. Yes, uh, this this photo which we have downloaded on clicking on it, you can see this photo which we have downloaded uh, from the internet. But this is not a PNG photo. This photo is in format of DNG. I will I will tell you what uh, difference between JPG, PNG, and DNG. Okay, so on clicking on a uh, uh, third button, we are following the same step on copying a third button or copying the copy settings. You can see all the settings are checked on clicking on correct button. You can see uh, settings copied. Means what the changes? These changes have already in our uh, colors and light. The this settings is changes, changes is copied. Okay, so what we gonna do? We are opening our uh, light, uh, that photo again, which are overexposed. Uh, let's see on which photo we are, uh, we are gonna to apply this filter. So let's see, uh, let's select uh, this image. Okay, uh, let's, this image, or uh, where is a star who uh, is sitting uh, in a live railway station. Okay. So uh, we copied some uh, settings or preset from a different photo. So uh, we are going to apply uh, those changes in this photo. Okay, so let's see, let's focus on this area. So how uh, these settings is change, this will change automatically. So on clicking on third button and paste settings, uh, you can see. Uh, Pankaj, here is a time gap also because we, we, we need to finish this uh, within 15 minutes. So, yes. yeah. Okay, I think it is taking uh, my Lightroom is taking some time to paste uh, these presets. You can uh, do uh, like uh, as you want. Like, it is a similar process. So, there is a limit of time. Uh, does this version as a screen retouch tool embedded? No, a uh, free version. Uh, doesn't provide the screen retouching tool. You can uh, make it by masking option, screen retouch. Okay, so uh, I want to uh, ask other uh, member uh, participant also if you uh, you have some query or something. Just ask in. Uh, Are there any more questions, Anjad? Uh, sorry, we cannot. I see Bright. Yes. Bright. I have a question. Bright. I see bright. Okay. Does this version has a screen retouch tool embedded in it? Pankaj, can you see the yeah, chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I already answered it. Like this free version uh, doesn't provide the screen retouching tool. Uh, it is a premium uh, feature in Adobe Lightroom. Okay, great. Any more questions? 
Abaka says, thank you, I've learned more. Thank you, Pankaj. Do we have more questions? Is everyone clear? Perhaps, uh, Pankaj, you can also uh, uh, share your email address in case there are people who have questions they can send directly to you. Uh, uh, so I'm typing my email in the chat box. Interestingly, we still have some people trying to join the meeting despite it's really, really, really interesting. I hope it's not a problem with the time. Yes, uh, there is a limited time. Like, uh, I want to uh, uh, interact with all of you people, but uh, I think there's a limited time. So, I, uh, I've shared my uh, email ID, uh, Gmail ID in the chat box. So, you can send uh, your query uh, on the email. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's all from my side. So, I'm uh, very thankful to all the pupils for listening carefully and uh, giving uh, your time. Thank you, says you say there is a topic you'd like to talk about? Uh, yes, sorry. So we can have a follow-up training sometime later. How about that? Yes, sure. Awesome. So we'll be in touch. Meanwhile, anybody else? I see Friday says, can we recorded session? Yes, of course, Friday, you will have the recorded session on the event page where you registered. It will be updated by Monday morning okay there will be a recorded session of the recording from this session will be available on the events page where you registered on monday great anybody else with a question any question about editing your photos using the app any compliments uh, Adobe Say again. Lightroom. Yes, uh, you can also create some awesome images and some color correction. But uh, this is this application is I'm telling this is a too uh, vast application to explore this feature. It will take uh, too much time. Okay, so I'm uh, I've already shared uh, my Instagram also Instagram profile I'm sharing, uh, which is named as the Open Draft also. So you can reach me out there also. Yeah, great. So I think in the future we can have some sort of a series of training, a photo training series, so a series so you don't have to cram all the trainings into one. Okay. Thank you for the practical session. Appreciate. Awesome. Okay, so guys, I want to say a very big thank you. Thank you everyone for. Ah uh, yes attending thank you also for participating so far it's been a lovely session it's a full session of practicality and i'm, I'm very grateful to the commons photographers as a group for the collaboration that gave birth to this session and specifically to pankaj i mm -hmm. want to say a very big thank you for the training and looking training. forward to some future engagement, future engagement that we can work on. I saw Bright and uh, Joe in the chat talking about how they, they'd love to make different type of edits. And I think uh, in the future, we should have a collaborative training between these experts and Pankaj as well. So we can have some very wholesome training session from Bright, Joe and Pankaj and every other expert of photo processing who is also interested. I see Shreya in the chat asking for a group photograph. Uh, Shreya, I think that's possible if you would volunteer to coordinate it. I am more than willing to uh, put on my camera and smile. So I, officially, this is the end of the training. Uh, Shreya would like to have a, a group photograph for all of us. And so I'm going to hand over to Shreya and just say a very big thank you to every one of you for attending. And to remind you that next week will be another Wiki Loves Africa training titled Videography Basics for Wiki Loves Africa. I'm sending the link now in the chat. I would like to invite you all to quickly go and register for that training. So you'll see this week, 
we have done a workshop on photograph editing. Next week, we want to do a workshop on videos. So if you are interested in videos, quickly click on this link that I have just put in the chat and take and register for that session. And then we can email you the link to the meeting when it comes, when the day comes. So please go ahead and uh, subscribe for that meeting. The trainer will be Shomoni Green from Nigeria, uh, multiple award winner for Wikilos Africa. Uh, we have seen his work, done amazing things so far. Lovely guy, great guy. I'm sure you'll definitely learn a lot of interesting things. Uh, looking forward to, of course, you all know the stats. If you want to know what the current stats are for your country in Wikilos Africa, it's very easy. Just go to the Wikilos Africa common stage. Let me quickly send you a link so that you can have an idea of how your country is doing. And then if you need to, if you need to, uh, uh, to improve or you need to do more, like I'm, and I'm saying this specifically to Ghana because I don't know what's happening with Ghana. Bright and Joe, something is happening to Ghana. So I think you, you might want to pay some attention. We're not seeing the numbers yet. I know you have, you guys are planning so many new things in the background, but I just want to say the time is running out. The, the upload sessions will soon be over in a couple of weeks, about two, three weeks from now, on the first of, on the 30, 30th of April. So please try and make it work. And let's have all those amazing photos, amazing pictures. So if you want to see the stats, you can click on this link I have just sent into the chat and you'll see all the stats for the countries and the contributions so far. I want to commend every organizer of Wikilos Africa from Namibia to Benin to Nigeria to senior citizen to Edowiki to Botswana to Kenya to all the countries that I can see in the, in the attendance list. I want to say well done to every one of you. Keep up the good work. We're almost there, and I'm sure that uh, when we see the winning photos at the end of the day, it will all be worth our while. Yes, Abakar, Monsieur, to Chad as well, the Chad organizers. It's great to see what you guys are doing, by the way. Chad and Nijay, you are all surprising us. Uh, we are very happy. Nous sommes, con nous sommes contents. Oui, nous sommes contents. Pour, nous sommes heureux pour les contributions et les photos et les vidéos pour Wikilogs Africa. Merci beaucoup. We are very grateful. Uh, thank you very much also to Rwanda and all of the other countries. Of course, I'm not going to have the time to mention every single person. I'm going to hand over now to Shreya, and then you can coordinate the group photograph. I'm just going to put on my, my camera so that I'm ready when you are. All right, guys, thank you very much. Cheers. Uh, thank you so much, Wilson, and the Wiki Loves 